Hello everyone, Carolina Venom here. Uh, today I bring you a Jazz DV151. Uh, this is going to be a spoken review of this camcorder. Uh, if you want to see the pictures in the videos, um, you can go to my channel and look at the Pocket Camcorder Showdown. Uh, that's where my pictures and videos of this camera is at. Uh, but this is just a spoken review. Um, there's not much to say about this camera, uh, other than it's cheap. Um, you know, it's a Jazz, so you know it's not going to be nothing fancy, it's not going to be nothing that's going to be high quality. Nothing that you're going to want to use for professional use, or even if you want to have a good video. Uh, you know, even in really good lighting, you know, it takes fair videos. Uh, pictures are terrible. Pictures are not even a megapixel, and they're just plum terrible. Uh, uh, you know, this Jazz really screwed up, screwed up on this camera. I really believe because there is things about this camera that puzzle me. Because for one, they didn't add a menu button. You can't go in and change any of the settings. There is no date and time. There is no. Um, self timer there is nothing I mean there's not even an option to format your card um, it's just a bare bones I mean if I'm wrong somebody please tell me because I don't see it nowhere and I've pushed all the buttons so let's you know, we'll, we'll go from there um, it's got a really nice form factor it fits really nice in the hand uh, it looks nice black with a silver you know accents and the chrome around the around the lens and you know it's a really nice looking camera um, if it was just if the if the picture and video quality matched the looks of the camera it'd be nice but anyway let's just start off a little bit with a few things on this camera uh, on the front here you have the speaker uh, the microphone I'm guessing is right here it's either right here up here or right yonder I'm not really sure uh, never really tried it so I'm just guessing that it's right here got your lens uh, on the side here, you have your SD card slot. You got your nice silver accent around here that leads around to this little pop out to where you plug into your computer USB to get your pictures and videos off. Um, got your AV out up top. Uh, on the back here, you have your battery door that holds two AA batteries. And I will say that this thing is a battery. This thing right here will eat your batteries up. It is not a. It's not very good on, on batteries at all. Uh, your screen folds around so you can, you know, record yourself uh, and everything. It's got a 4x digital zoom, a 1.5 inch TFT display, USB 2.0, and TV out. Okay. Uh, the back screen scratches very easily, as you can possibly tell. There, it scratches really easily. I protect my screens, and uh, this in here just got scratches on it from somewhere, so I don't know. Got your power button, your delete button, your high and low to change your resolution for your camcorder and your camera, and you have your mode to switch from camcorder to camera to your pictures and videos. You have your circular toggle here that has your left and right. That goes to your pictures and videos. Uh, that plays your videos, that also starts and stops your recording, and takes your pictures. And here is your zoom up and down. I'll go ahead and flip it on for a second. Okay, as you can tell, it does pick up fairly decent here under normal 100 watt bulb lighting. Uh, it does show up, and it's not like completely dark, uh, but it's very grainy. Um, it's, the, the screen's not clear. It's got some grain to it, uh, and the darker you go, the grainier it gets. Like I say, your up button here, that right there is for your zoom. But you can tell the more you zoom, the grainier it gets. Uh, it records in 640 by 480 in high, and in, that's covered up the screen there. You see there's low, and which is 320 by 240. And then, then your picture, which is it shows I can shoot 10,000 pictures on high, and then you have low. High, it's not even a megapixel; it's just VGA quality, and it's very, very bad. You push it again, then you got your uh, pictures and videos. 
uh, then back, and then just back to your, um, um, yeah, your camcorder. Uh, another thing about it I don't like is the fact that when you push record, you have a, re a red light that comes on. It don't look very bright, but I don't like having a light on the front when I'm recording. Um, because, you know, it's just ag aggravating to look at, and I don't like it, and there's no way to cut it off because there is no menu button. You can't change anything on this camera. Um, so that makes it very, very cheap. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to flip around the camera. I'm going to cut off my Nikon, and I'm going to flip it around, and I'm going to show you the difference in the picture quality and the... Um, I want to use the same resolution. I'm using 320 on my Nikon to cut down on the memory, and I'm going to use 320 on the Jazz. And I want to show you the difference in the picture quality, in the video quality, and the audio quality between the Nikon and the Jazz. So here we go. So here, so here we go with the Jazz. Um, as you can tell, that it is has a significant drop in quality. Uh, as far as video quality goes, it's got grainy and lines in it and everything, and it's just very bad quality all the way around. Uh, I'm not really sure about audio quality. We'll see what happens whenever I put this all together. Uh, as you can see, the red light is on. Um, I'm hitting buttons and nothing works. There's a zoom, which you can tell it's just bad. Um, that's just it. There's just nothing else to it. Um, you can tell uh, by turning the camera around, flipping the camera on, that it's just, it's just, it's just bad. It's just not a, it's just not a camera that you want to use um, for important events. But it's not bad. It's something just to throw in your pocket and just to use when there's nothing else. So that's my review. Uh, like I said, if you want to see the pictures and videos on a normal day, uh, go to my Pocket Camcorder Showdown on my channel, and you'll see them there. So everybody have a good one, and I'll catch you later.